We enter into our time of worship with praise and thanksgiving for who God is and what God is doing for us. Let us enter into worship together. We are one in the Spirit. One in the Lord, we are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord, and we pray that all unity may one day be restored, and they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love, yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. each other we will walk hand in hand we will walk with each other we will walk hand in hand and together we'll spread the news that god is in our land and they'll know we are christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are christians by our love other we will work side by side we will work with each other we will work side by side we will guard human dignity and save human pride and they'll know we are christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are christians by our love to the Father from whom all things come and all praise to Christ Jesus God's only Son and all praise to the Spirit who makes us one and they'll know we are Christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are Christians by our love
is amazing, steady and unchanging. Your love is a mountain, firm beneath my feet. Your love is a mystery, how you gently lift me. When I am surrounded, your love carries me. Hallelujah! surprising I can feel it rising of the joy that's growing deep inside of me every time I see you all your goodness shines through I can feel this God song rising up in me is amazing I can think and changing your love is a mountain firm beneath my feet your love is a mystery how you gently lift me when I am surrounded your love carries me ah.
Hallelujah. Yes, Ready, Joyce? Ready. <laughs> Lord of all creation, of water, earth, and sky, heavens are your tabernacle, glory to the Lord on high, God of wonders beyond the Celebrate the light when I stumble in the darkness. Help me, Lord. I will call your name by night. Yeah. God of wonders beyond your galaxy. Hallelujah to the Lord of heaven and earth. Hallelujah to the Lord of heaven and earth. Hallelujah to the Lord of heaven and earth. You are holy. your majesty Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, as we worship you and think about what is happening in our nation this morning, it reminds us of a peace prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make us an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as, as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. We need you, Lord, to heal our people and our nation. There's no storm, 
that you won't carry us through, no bridge that you won't help us cross. We leave everything in your hands and embrace this day confidently, knowing that you will take care of our people and our nation. Lord, please comfort our people and surround them with your peace and love. Merciful God, remember those who risk their lives to help others during this uncertain time. Protect health workers and their families from coronavirus and remind them that you are always with them. Almighty God, Give our church members your strength and courage to face whatever life throws at them, knowing that they can trust in you. When darkness veils God's lovely face, we rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, our anchor holds within the veil. Help us stand on Christ, the solid rock, and help us fix our eyes upon you because all other ground is sinking sand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A little reggae tune for worship. Three and... Halle, halle, halle. Halle, 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 luya. Halle, 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 luya. Halle, luya, halle, luya. Eh, eh, eh. I am the rock of ages, cleft for me. I am the let me hide myself in thee. I am the rock of ages. Left for me, hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the bread of life, feed on me. I am the one true vine, follow me. I am the bread of life, feed on me, hallelujah, hallelujah. The resurrection live in me. I am the way, the truth. Follow me. I am the resurrection live in me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Halle, 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 halle. Halle, halle, halle. Hallelujah. Halle, halle, halle. Spirit. We believe in the Holy Spirit. We are the church and we stand as one. Honor. 
are his to receive to Jesus we see We believe in the Holy Bible. We believe in the Holy Bible. We believe in the Virgin Birth. We believe in the Virgin Birth. We believe in the Resurrection. We believe in the Resurrection. That Christ one day will return to earth. That Christ one day will return to earth. Holy, holy. Jesus we see because we believe we believe in the blood of Jesus we believe in the blood of Jesus we believe in eternal life we believe in eternal life we believe in his blood that frees us we believe in his blood that become the bride of Christ to become the bride of Christ holy 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 is our God worthy 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 is our King all glory and all are his to receive to Jesus we see because we believe we believe Most of us have had to travel through the wilderness of doubt and disobedience, rebellion and regret, sacrificing rest for restlessness and peace for perceived pleasure. The journey for freedom and contentment can take us down many wrong roads, but there is only one true destination, back to the Father. Sheltered in his arms and near to his heart, he tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. Through the desert I have wandered, through a barren, thirsty land, forsaking what was offered from a gentle, near pierced hand. But my desert days are over, the oasis is in view. The journey for my freedom has led me back to you. Near your heart, dear Father, is where I long to be. Secure in your great comfort, at peace at last with thee. Teach me of your patience, teach me of your grace, make my heart your dwelling place. No longer shall I wander, burdened by my shame and fear, no longer shall I question if you are really near. 
Your promise is my portion and your joy my feast this day. My strength is found in you, Lord. I trust you and obey. Near your heart, dear Father, is where I long to be. Secure in your great comfort, at peace at last with thee. Teach me of your presence, teach me of your grace. Make my heart your dwelling place. Oh, Jesus, blessed Redeemer, sent from the heart of God. Hold us who wait before thee, near to the Our gospel reading today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, beginning with verse 16. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. We have to remember that we are reading Matthew's Gospel, a beautiful narrative that weaves the theme of Jesus as Messiah throughout the whole of the scripture. Jesus and his mission from God to reconcile the world back to God. And so, after the resurrection, Jesus meets the disciples where it all began, at Galilee. And he reminds them that God has given him all authority. And for that reason, whenever you hear therefore, it means for that reason. For that reason now, they are to go into all the world and make disciples of all nations. Of all nations? Eleven men are going to make disciples of all nations? Really? I confess that I would have looked around and said, nope, I've spent three years and look what we've gotten. John was beheaded. Jesus was crucified. Yeah, he's resurrected, but he's leaving again. And no, I've had enough. I'm going back to the family business. But let's remember how it all started. That God's plan to reconcile the world back to him started with a man who would be father of all the nations. God's plan started with real people. With one person, Abraham. God's plan started by entering into a personal relationship with ordinary people. 
As you go through the genealogy that opens Matthew's gospel, you see the people, the ordinary people, until you reach a young girl engaged to another saying yes to an angel and a faithful man trusting the words of an angel in a dream and entering into that relationship with God. And that baby grew up and found 12 men, entered into personal relationships with men, ordinary people, and modeled for them who God is, how God loves, and how we as followers, as disciples, need to live. In just three years, he showered them with a personal relationship that taught them everything they would need to know. And it was done one to one. It's how it works. It's why with only 11 men, God's plan worked. Those 11 men built relationships. Those 11 men modeled the life of discipleship, of living how Christ had taught them how to live as God lives. Those 11 men lived as Jesus so that others would believe. And we now, 2,000 years later, are their legacy. We're part of a long line of one-to-one relationships of disciples, modeling for others who Jesus is and how to live from generation to generation. And so, yes, we go into the world for the big picture of reconciling the world back to God, but we do it one-on-one. And so I invite you, Through the power of the Holy Spirit, share your story. Tell your friends, tell your children, tell your grandchildren what God is and has done for you so that they might come to understand the strength that you have in these days when the world is falling apart, the strength and hope that you have because of who you believe in as a disciple of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, may the people of God say, Amen. The splendor of the King Clothed in majesty Let all the earth rejoice Let all the earth rejoice He wraps himself in light And darkness tries to hide It trembles at his voice It trembles at his voice How great is our God Sing with me How great is our God And all will see how great How great is our God
Sing with me how great is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God. Amen. And now may the God of all grace, who empowers each of us to live as Jesus taught, strengthen you now and always. Amen. Thank you.